Check this out. After battling for 17 holes in the round of 16 at the U.S. Amateur, golfer Segundo Oliva Pinto saw his second shot land in a bunker on the 18th hole. That's where his bid for the most prestigious amateur title in golf would end. Tied with Tyler Strafacci, going into the final hole at Brandon Dunes, Oliva Pinto ended up automatically losing the 18th hole when his caddy made the grave error of hopping into the bunker and touching the sand, apparently to test its texture. As it turns out, you can't do that. It all came down to the 18th hole, and then this happened. The outcome? A one-up win for Tyler Strafacci. Hashtag US Amateur. Specifically, Oliva Pinto's caddy violated this part of Rule 12.2 in the USGA rulebook. B. Restrictions on touching sand in bunker. Before making a stroke at your ball in a bunker, you must not deliberately touch sand in the bunker with your hand, a club, or rake, or any other object to test the condition of the sand and learn information for your next stroke. Yeah, there's not much wiggle room there. Olivia Pinto's caddy was clearly touching the sand, though he would later deny what was clearly caught on camera. That was all it took to put Strafacci one up and hand him the win. The golfer who lost by his caddy's own hand was stunned after it happened. Well, I asked my caddy what happened and I'm completely shocked. Pinto said, according to Golf Channel's Ryan Lavner, I'm just trying to make up an up and down and win the match. At stake at the US Amateur is an invitation to the following US Open, Masters, and British Open. So the loss here is not insignificant for Oliva Pinto, who currently plays for UNC Greensboro. That's unfortunate. What a great story this is, though. My goodness. It's, uh, you know, we learn from these mistakes. I'm sure they're both going to learn. And you and I will learn uh, in the process.